Alright, what's up guys? Foxy coming at you guys today with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the vote system, or veto, if those of you who play Halo know what veto is. We're going to be talking about the vote system, and why it should be in every COD game from now on, because this choosing system between two maps and one random map is getting old, and it's just super repetitive as far as maps in Call of Duty goes now, so I think it's time to bring back voting. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Today's the last day you'll be able to use code FOXY for 30% off at gfuel.com after today my code will be reduced to 10 percent instead of 30 percent so make sure you guys go get an awesome deal with your 30 percent code foxy follow me on twitter link is in the description below make sure you guys leave a like subscribe turn on notifications and without further ado let's go bro i'm just gonna kind of play mw2 as much as i can and we're gonna talk about why veto is such a big deal or why voting is such a big deal so as you guys know when you vote for maps to skip or whatever in today's Call of Duty, you have the choice between two maps, and then you have uh, an option to vote a random map. That, that That's nice, that's cool, but to me, that's kind of one of the faults of the newer Call of Duties. I mean, it was cool at first because it gave us more variety, and, you know, that that's nice, but I guess you could say more so in the newer Call of Duties. It's been apparent that maps are not as good as they used to be, you know? You could say since AW or Ghost. Maps in Call of Duty have not been as good as they once were in MW2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and things of that sort. It's pretty apparent to that. Like, that, that that's a pretty much known fact. And if you guys remember back in the day, we used to have one map to choose from, and we could either vote it for a random map, or we could just play that map. And I feel like that gave a lot of variety to the game itself, and it didn't... It, it just didn't... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? It didn't oversaturate the best maps in the game. You know, you didn't play Terminal five times in a row. Or you didn't play Terminal twice in a row, which made you play Terminal more than any other map in the game. You didn't play Rust three times in a row. It was, okay, we're, we're probably going to end up playing a different map every single game. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I wish that the map veto or voting would come back. And it's the same with Call of Duty and Halo. That's one of the main things that I think needs to come back in future Call of Duty games and in future Halo games. And I don't think that's ever going to happen, to be honest, because I just don't see them making that little of a change. But maps get repetitive when you play them so much. I could list off the maps that we would play in, I don't know, World War II or Black Ops 1 all the time. It was always Firing Range, Summit, Nuketown, Jungle. Those were the maps. Basically, and then there was other maps in those games, but those were good maps So I guess black ops 1 isn't the best game to kind of use as an example So we'll use world war 2 as an example and I can even use MWR as an example as well Because in MWR there was certain maps that we just played all the time like crash vacant shipment overgrown backlot Oh and crossfire so those those like five or six maps we played constantly in that game and that's annoying it's annoying to play those maps so much and it just it wears you out it wears me out at least and i know that it just causes fatigue and that's like one of the things that i want to that we want to prevent with call of duty we don't want people to get fatigued on the franchise or on the games that we play because look at it like this say we had voting in black ops 4 which would be really nice because there's multiple maps that have different variations of them that voting would really come in handy for this so say we had i don't know firing range night come up and we didn't want to play firing range okay well let's vote it and just get a random map it wouldn't be like we vote firing range night we're end up getting it we're gonna end up getting like firing range regular like that would be that wouldn't be a thing you can't have that that's why i think voting should come back because it gives more variety to the game it gives some more longevity to the game as well i'm telling you guys if it came back it would help with the fatigue of playing the same maps all the time and on top of that they need to make better maps like that that's just that's just a fact like let's look at world war ii for example what were the main maps that people played in world war ii shipment 1944 Arden Forest, London Docks, Gustav Cannon. And I'm trying to think. Oh, and Point du Hoc. So those four were implemented all the time. Those were the maps that got played the most, pretty much. Maybe not so much Gustav Cannon, 
but I'm telling you guys, if we got voting back or veto, whatever you want to call it, it would it would help out the, the fatigue on the game. It just makes the games feel more repetitive. And yes, COD is a pretty repetitive game, but at the same time, it shouldn't feel repetitive to the point where people stop playing after like two months of the game being out. So I figured I would hop on World at War as well because this game also has voting. I don't know, I just felt like playing it, honestly. And here's where I talk about map design and things like that. I'm not gonna drag this video out too much, but I will say that map design is crucial in a game, man. In a good game, if we have good maps to play on, the game doesn't get so repetitive because the map design will be different. It doesn't, it doesn't feel the same and all that stuff man it's not gonna feel just repetitive as fuck like the past couple cod games have man i like bo4 i like the pace of it the maps in the game are pretty simple and it's just the same shit like i said before they are all three lanes i think that they're better maps than world war ii but that ain't saying much bro it's not saying much because those maps in World War II, besides Gustav Cannon and London Docks, you know, London Fort, I mean, oh, fuck. London Docks and Gustav Cannon were the two best maps in that game. There ain't no doubt about it. And that game had no map variety whatsoever. And Black Ops 4 doesn't really have any map variety either. Double kill. Cool. I think that with better map design and the vote system or the veto system instead of the choosing system I'm gonna call it the choosing system because you can choose which maps you want to play on you have a you have a choice between three maps one random and two maps that you see instead of the choosing slash variety system we have the veto system I, it needs to come back dude I vouch for this so much because it's it's such a small thing and some people might think you know oh well you know that has nothing to do with it it's like come on you got to think outside the box think about this what are the things that old cod games did that did things right they had really good maps they had overpowered guns and there's certain little things about each game that people don't remember one of them being the voting system dude this guy's playing ring rather rosy with me what are you doing <laughs> uh oh he's gonna die now he's gonna die uh oh, he's oh yeah, he's gonna die for sure. Oh man, there's two. Oh no! Holy shit! That just scared the fuck out of me. Nice. There we go. Uh, I think map design is more crucial than the actual voting system. I mean, yeah, like if you have good maps and they all have tons of variety, then we will never get bored of playing multiplayer because the maps are really good. I mean, you can use World of War as an example for, like, really good fucking maps, man. Yes, some of the maps are very big in this game. That's that's one of the downfalls to it. But at the same time, there's more map variety in this game than, than there is Double in kill. any other COD game, I, in my opinion, besides MW2. Or, I, I, okay, so there's not more map variety in this game, but the maps are a lot more grandiose in this game. And that's one of the downfalls, but at the same time, there are certain maps in this game that are really small and they're really fucking good, man. Double kill. Triple kill. Oh man. Is that a triple? Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. It's just it's really nice. Map design and the vote system. Both of those need to come back in future CODs. Better map design. More grandiose map design. Thinking outside of the box for map design. Those like things like that man uh i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications I do appreciate all you guys watching and hanging out what do you guys think about all of this that i said today uh let me know down in the comments do you guys want the vote system back uh where as you guys can see here we would vote to skip this map and then we would get a brand new map and yeah there we go we would get a new map and either people can either stay or leave you know what do you guys think of that let me know down in the comments um and what do you guys think of the map design in these new Call of Duties? Like, do they suck in your opinion, or are they okay? Like, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!